Oh my god, I think I just got such an exciting package. Welcome back to a new weekly reading vlog. It is Monday morning and I will tell you what I'm reading this week. I'm reading these two books. I am still reading. Can you tell I wore my hair in a ponytail? <laughs> what is happening? But I'm still reading The Secret History by Donald Todd. Last week I finally sort of properly continued reading this and I'm currently on page 293 and things are finally happening because the last 100 pages were really slow but now shit is going down things are happening this is a really cool dark academia story it's about murder and mystery and finding the boundaries of morality it's a bit messed up but it's really cool and I'm really happy that it's finally starting to pick up again the pace because I was in a little bit of a slump with this one. Um, so let's see how far I can get into this one this week. Then I'm also reading part two in the Before the Coffee Gets Cold series. I don't know if there is going to be more parts, but this is such a unique um, book series. The first one is just called Before the Coffee Gets Cold. This is written by Tashikazu Kawaguchi. And this is a magical realism story that takes place in this little cafe in Japan. And when you go to that cafe, you have the opportunity to go back in time to maybe do something that you regret not doing or to say something that you regret not saying. And this story is made up of four chapters and each chapter is its own story in itself. I loved the first one so much. I had to get into it a little bit at first because I thought it was a bit slow because it just takes place in this cafe. But the more you read it, the more you get attached to this cafe and you're starting to see this cafe as its own character and it's really interesting and I'm just absolutely adoring this one as well. I read the first story right now so this is my second physical read of the week. I'm in the best reading mood ever. <laughs> I Last week I did a challenge to read at least one hour every day. You can check out the vlog of that. I have never read this much in my life before and I'm in the best reading mood ever. I thought it might work like counter productive or counter that you know forcing myself to read makes me not want to read but it actually made me want to read so much more so i read a lot i finished um the duke and i this morning this is an audiobook it's the first book in the bridgerton series it's written by julia quinn and of course um if you've been on social media you have seen bridgerton it's this historical romance show on netflix so i thought i would also read the first book and i enjoyed it so much the only thing is is that there's a very disturbing rape scene in the book which um I was prepared to read because I've also seen the, the series, they kind of changed it a little bit. The scene in the book is definitely not okay. So I did, you know, had that in mind when I started reading the book. But apart from that nasty scene, it is a very enjoyable read. The characters are, they're actually like, they do kind of dumb things at times and they don't really suffer any consequences from, the, from their actions and their romance is kind of like not super healthy to be honest but the whole family aspect and there are so many characters and just their families and the drama in there is something i really enjoyed so i well, i will definitely continue the series but i don't know if i want to read the books first or just wait for the tv show actually because the tv show was quite different from the book because in the first book they focus just on these few characters but then in a tv show they added a lot of things and a lot of different sort of storylines and i don't know if they took things from future books and used it in the first season of the tv show or if they just you know made it a little bit more exciting for the tv show so i'm curious shall i read the books first or shall i wait for the tv show let me know in the comments 
but that is what i'm reading this week i'm going to continue working now and i will keep you updated on my reading let's hope that this re uh, let's hope that this reading week is going to be just as good as the last one please give this video a thumbs up i'll see you soon oh my god channel update my channel is officially going to change into a Bridgerton Stan channel because I'm a little bit obsessed and I mean I just thought book three <laughs> I can't I'm already re-watching the show as well so yeah I decided to continue with the books it's already Thursday by the way I didn't really film anything for the past few days but I um, continued with the books I'm currently on book three, which is about Benedict, aka my fave. So I'm really excited to be reading this third book. I'm listening to it again on audiobook. The audiobooks are so great. And they are such easy audiobooks to listen to because it's just this one story about these few characters and it is so easy to follow. So I never thought I was going to say this, but if you're looking for some historical sexy romance books, definitely read Bridgeton books. I'm a little bit obsessed but yeah so that's going great i also read a lot more from the secret history i'm already like 60 percent of the way through oh my god i think i just got such an exciting package oh my god it's my new washi tape it looks so cool Oh my god, I'm shaking a little bit. <gasps> Look! It is gold foil with my moon faces on it. Oh my god. I thought that was going to arrive tomorrow. <gasps> Look! Will it focus? Oh well. Oh my goodness. Am I a little bit obsessed? Yes. <laughs> wow, amazing. I'm so happy. Um, so yeah, these will be in my shop, hopefully soon. Wow, okay, I'll keep you- <laughs> I'm going to unpack this, I'll be back shortly. Okay, I've calmed down a little bit. I did a little swatch. Oh yes, this is so exciting. This won't be up um, probably until the end of January, so a little bit of patience. I just have to finish work for today. And after that, I only have to work at my part-time job for two more weeks. And then after that, I will be officially working for Basically Brit full-time. If you didn't know, I'm going to be working on Basically Brit full-time. I'm so excited. It's a little bit scary, of course, but I'm just so motivated to work super hard on new products, new videos, on my Patreon page, on just anything, basically. And also you already watching this video helps me tremendously so thank you so so much so two more weeks and then it will just be basically red that's crazy oh my god okay i'm going to finish my work for today Saturday today I plan on having a very relaxing weekend 
I also started book four of Predator. <laughs> I am flying through these books like crazy. So I started book four this morning because I finished book three yesterday and um, I'm already 40%. <laughs> I'm enjoying these books so much. Okay, so the first one, if you haven't seen Bridgerton, these are not spoilers or anything. Um, but basically, it's a, it's a really big family in like 19th century England and high society. They're just looking for husbands. But all of the relationships in the family and with a different family, the Fetheringtons, are just so funny and so enjoyable. And each book follows a different set of characters. Um, like a different sibling from the Bridgerton family and in book four it's all about Colin and I'm enjoying this one so much I think this might become my favorite or my second my next favorite I think right now book one is my favorite then book three then book two but then if this one I think if I finish this one it might be book one four three two but I will keep you updated on that but yeah I'm just <laughs> I'm enjoying this so much and the audiobooks, as I said, are so easy to, li to, to listen to. So I will probably finish this one this weekend as well. I'm going to try to read all eight books this month. But I'm also expecting an exciting package today because I ordered a new set of drawers for next seller for at my desk because I want to put all my short products in there. And I will show you once it gets here and also when I've assembled it, hopefully that's going to go easy because I don't like assembling furniture anymore. I've done that so much, um, like a few months ago when I moved, which is already so long ago, like six or seven months, holy moly. And apparently it's going to snow this afternoon. I really hope it's going to snow because if it will, I'm definitely going to have a little walk outside. I just walked outside. I was, I went outside this morning it's like 12 now because I had to deliver some packages to the post office but then since I'm waiting for a package to arrive I had to go back soon um, because it can arrive like throughout the day so it doesn't really have a specific time which is quite annoying um, but I'm waiting for that as well so that's really exciting and then tonight at 9 p.m. I'm having a Patreon live show again which is always so much fun for my sunflower patrons and that is my day. I'm now watching Modern Family because there's finally a new season on Netflix. So it's just very cozy and relaxed. And yesterday I read so much more from The Secret History. I'm currently like 75% of the way through and I'm finally like, I'm really back into it because as I said, it was quite a little bit slow around between like page 200 to 300. But now I'm already nearly on page 400. And it's super exciting now. I'm going to finish watching my episode of Modern Family and then I'm going to make some lunch and I'm going to have a relax. It is snowing. It's snowing like a just tiny little, whoa, I'm really blue. Oh my God, it's snowing. It's so cute. Okay, it's just a little bit of snow, but fingers crossed that it's going to look white at the end of the day. Bridgerton is giving me some style inspiration. <laughs> this look is inspired by this photo because I saw it and I thought that looks freaking cool. So I thought I would recreate it with my blouse that I got a few weeks ago. And then I thought, let's order myself some suspenders. <laughs> Quite like it actually. Some modern day Bridgerton outfit. Oh my God, can you tell I'm a little bit obsessed? <laughs> Oh well. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Also, it's snowing and it's making me so happy. And the snow actually stays like a little bit. I'm back in another outfit. I always change outfits throughout the day if I feel like it. <laughs> but the snow has kind of stopped already. There's a little, tiny little layer. But I'm waiting for my new drawer to arrive. Chest of drawers, maybe? I really need to wash my hair. Um, and I've watched a lot of Modern Family today, like a lot. But now I'm just going to listen to my audiobook whilst cleaning up a little bit and then my package should arrive within like 30 minutes, which is really exciting. And then I'm going to assemble it, which is not exciting. Package got here, now we're going to assemble it. Let's see how long this takes.
Okay, so a little update because I just um, put all of my stuff in here. I am still trying to see how I can organize it best, just charging my phone. Um, but I have my cutting machine up here because I just use it a lot. So I thought I would just, you know, leave it here. I do want to put these somewhere else. These are the cutting mats because, but they look really ugly. <laughs> then I have all of my bookmarks in here. So these are the normal ones and these are with tassels. And these are just some of the clear plastic bags that I still use to pack orders. But once I run out of these, I'm going to use paper bags. Then here I have all of my stickers and my envelopes. And these are the paper bags that I use. And I'm really happy that I now have all of my stickers and just my stuff here. Because otherwise when I was packing, it was everywhere on my desk. And I just didn't have a lot of room on my desk. But now I can just sit here and grab it from here. <laughs> and then the bottom drawer is just... Um, some notepads, some tape, some paper and like a cutting thing. Um, but I am going to probably put this somewhere else and make six baskets to put my washi tape in. Because now I have my washi tape all in like a, um, like tote bags and stuff. <laughs> it's a bit of a mess, but I just want to put some here. And once I run out, I will grab some more from storage. But then... Um, you know, when I'm packing orders that I have nice baskets where all the washi tapes are in. So that. And then here I have my printing paper and everything and sticker paper. And then my printer is on the floor. But, you you know, if I just have my chair here, you don't really see it. And then I just have a little trash um, basket. But I'm really happy with this because I didn't really like the look of that rolly thing anymore. And I might paint this one day. Um, because I looked everywhere for like a nice drawer cabinet that wasn't white, but they're all really expensive. I saw this really cool sort of vintage looking one, but they're all so expensive. And this one was really cheap and it was on sale, but I might just spice it up one day. I don't know, I might paint just the drawers itself, but I don't really know what type of color. Um, yeah, and I also want to one day paint these handles of this drawer because this is silver and I never have any silver accessories in my house just gold so I actually have to paint these gold that'll be cool but I'm now waiting for a patreon live show that I'm doing in a bit and I'll see you tomorrow happy Sunday this morning I finished listening to romancing Mr. Bridgerton aka book four of the Bridgerton series I read those four books in one week this is crazy. I will see if the next one is available. <laughs> Otherwise, I will just start a different audiobook because this has been a lot. Um, but that means now that I can continue with my physical read before the coffee gets cold, the second book. I'll be taking that one to my parents in a bit because I'm going to my parents to just chill there for the rest of the day because I didn't really do much this week or like this weekend also besides watching Modern Family, the very final episode. And yesterday it was really sad. And I also had a Patreon live show again, which was so much fun. I love doing Patreon, li but Patreon live shows. And I also invite my patrons to join me in the actual live show as like with camera on and talking. Um, so it's really like a little group of friends just chilling and chatting. So it was really, really lovely as well. But now I'm going to get my stuff and get to my parents.